how to make a digital planner in canva with hyperlinks for beginners hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be taking a look at how you can create your own digital planner using canva with hyperlinks so let's get into it now to get started all you need to do is head on over to canva.com once you are on canva.com simply search for digital planner or just planner and you will actually get quite a few different templates that are available for planners. You can search for a weekly schedule, project schedule, work schedule, wedding timeline, monthly planner. So let's say I want to open up a monthly planner. And now this is showing me a bunch of different monthly planners. And uh, you have these uh, multiple different planners. And I can click on customize this template and begin by customizing this specific template over here. Now, what I actually want to do is I want to create a digital planner and a digital planner is one that is supposed to be used completely digitally. So people are not supposed to, you know, write anything down or print it. You can use it as it is and you can see this is like a simple calendar. So how can this function as your planner? Well, I'm going to show you guys exactly how. So to make this a digital planner, let's say that I want to, I'm going to replace the calendar word to planner. And I like to just keep it very simple. So let's say I want to make like a monthly planner. So a shortcut is to simply take a calendar and just go on ahead and expand on that or you can begin with a blank template as well and you can create a planner according to your needs so if you want to make a weekly based digital planner if you want to make it daily i'm going to show you guys exactly how so the first thing you want to do is you want to input all of the months so i'm just going to expand this text a little so you guys can see it a little better so like this, we have like a simple 2023 calendar. Now to make this into a monthly planner, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add page. And in this empty page over here, I can begin designing the page. So I'm just going to use this background over here. I'm going to make it like a lilac theme. So I'm just going to go on ahead and enter these colors in the background over here as well. So I'm just going to use this and then I'm just going to go on ahead and make this like lighter, slightly lighter, like so over here. Or maybe I can make this darker and change all of the text colors to white. And I'm just going to select the font color to be white or black. So uh, once I've done that, I'm just going to place the background on the second page. And I'm just going to rotate this. You can put whatever you want in the background, whatever fits the aesthetic of your planner. Uh, if you're making like a feminine planner, you can add backgrounds according to that. If you want to make something like a basic planner, you can add that. Once I've placed the background, I'm simply going to click on the image. And once I've clicked on the image, I can click on the top right over here and reduce the transparency. So I'm going to make it around 56 so it's not too dark. And then I just like to click on lock so it locks it as the background. Now from here, I'm just going to duplicate this page. I have an empty background. And now I'm going to take the same kind of font style. So I'm just going to copy the top font. And I just did command C and then command V and it pastes it onto the next page. Now, instead of the year, I'm just going to put in the name of the month and I'm going to change the font color because I want it to be slightly different like so. And after that, I can begin adding categories. So in January, I can uh, maybe in my planners, I want to be able to set their goals and to set up schedules maybe. So maybe I want to have like a goal section like so. I'm just going to write that. And then I'm going to click on the lines and shapes. And I'm going to take a simple shape from over here. I'm going to expand on this shape like so. And I'm going to place it right over here. I'm going to change the color into maybe a white. And then I'm going to click on the shape. And I'm going to give it rounded edges. Because uh, I want this to be a little rounded. So... Uh, you can click on the shapes over here and give, select a shape with more rounded edges or whatever you prefer if you like it as it is. You can keep it as it is. But now after you have placed it, what you're going to do, uh, I'm going to change the color to gray. You don't want it to be a pure white. And then you're going to go into the transparency. So click on the top right and then click on the uh, transparency over here. And I like to make it semi-transparent. Now you can see it doesn't overtake the overall image, but you can see it's easier for people to write on it and to be able to see or use. So after I do this, what I like to do is I like to go on ahead and go into my elements and then I like to search for column. 
and you can even go into the text section and enter a column from over there but that is totally up to you but you can choose a column in elements or just a text section or just click on add a heading text and then you can place it like so change the font to whatever you want people to be using so whatever font you think looks best in the this specific section then place it over here and then you're going to change the text to like this so enter goal here now i'm just going to place this over here and then i just like to place this at equidistant points so 1.8 1.8 like so so people can enter their goals over here now let's say i want to make a, another page now how do i put in hyperlink so now what i'm going to do is whenever someone opens their planner so let's say someone is opening their planner and i want them to be able to you know uh, click on january and be moved to the january page or click on february and be able to be moved to the february page so for that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go into my first page click on the january text and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on more and i'm going to click on link on the top right then i'm just going to click on pages in this document and i'm going to select the second page now I'm going to click on done. Now, whenever someone clicks on January, they would be automatically headed to the January page. Now, to make this planner more detailed, you can enter all the dates, all the weeks. If you don't want to enter the dates, you can remove the calendar from your first page. If you want to include like a weekly calendar within your planner. So if you want people to be able to plan their entire year using your calendar, you can put in the weeks as well within this. So after your goals, you can put the second page, which would be January week one, and then so on and so forth. And you can just duplicate this page and then hyperlink it with a different uh, item in the first page to be able to generate your entire planner. You can put in different fields in accordance to the need of your planner, and you can even take some ideas off of the uh, templates that are available on Canvas. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to do everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question